Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Demolition Build 3. Here we are for episode number 11. Head back in and see what jobs I have available at the moment. Uh, nothing exciting there. We've got 31,000 in the bank. Wooden house, wooden house, or house demolition and grand leveling. I think the house demolition will go for um, details. That's a pretty big house though. Um, store household goods in designated area and demolish the house. Simple family house with garage needs to be destroyed. Needs destroying household appliances should be removed from proper disposal. Heavy equipment recommended for quick demolition. All right, let's take this one. Heavy equipment. I don't think we've got heavy equipment, but we've got um, our little skid steer, and we've got uh, the jackhammer, and we've got the skid steer saw. Skid steer shears. And that should be good. We shouldn't need anything else. 198 is the job price which should get us to being able to buy either um, the large excavator or we can buy the little dozer loader thing over here on the left. I don't know which one we're going to go for, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's go in. Everything's got to be moved to out the front. Household appliances, so... Uh, how do I move them? Uh oh. How do we move them? I think we're gonna have to. Can't pick them up by hand. Should have maybe brought the grapplers with us. Um, what are you doing now? You're telling me to get, I can get rid of the door frames? Uh, what's going on here? I don't know what it was doing there. All right, we're gonna have to go through the front here um, and work out how we're gonna get these things out. It's gonna be interesting. So there has been an update as well since we did the last wooden house, uh, the wooden fence and that con deconstruction. So now this guy should work. Oh, our lag, st stuttering and stuff. This sh should work a lot better than it did. All right, so. Um, Spin this thing around. Oop, wrong button. It's page up and page down. There we go. There we go. Way better than it worked before. They increased the um, destruction capabilities by double, I believe. Or 1.5 times as strong. Which is great. I don't know if they want me to... Oh, there we go. We lift, we lift up the stuff and take it out using this guy, which we can do that. Just need to get access. So if we break up a big enough spot here, get access inside. Right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're bloody doing. Right, break all this down. I need to break that down without damaging anything. damage the roof too much here. Alright, then I I'm, I'm, don't know how um, how pedantic they're going to be about how much we've actually removed. But that, I think the brick building or the brick office that we destroyed before, it was bloody hard to get 100%. You could probably use a sledgehammer and knock all this down, you know, but it's a fun in using a bloody sledgehammer. Alright. Oh, there goes household equipment. It's a bit of bloody wood went flying and smacked into it. Right, try and just break all this up. Alright, let's see if we can go in and pick this up. That damaging it too much. Drop that there, perfect. Go and get the fridge. We, ooh, we can't quite get underneath there. Might as well cut the roof on our way out. Oh Jesus. Alright, swing it around. I don't know if they're going to recycle these or what they're going to do, but 
Beautiful. And we're going to need access um, to the shed as well. Don't run into that. Right. Start cut. Oh no. So start cutting that door apart, but didn't want to cut apart. Definitely better. Definitely better being able to use this now to destroy your wooden house. Way better than what it was. Oh, yeah, let's turn this sideways. It's like a solid frame or something there, like a metal frame, maybe. Yeah, bring that towards us. So it doesn't go back in the bloody building. Still got things flying everywhere. Right, so this, this is a pretty interesting job. Something different. We haven't done a knockdown one before of this size, so that's done pretty good. Right, let's get this out and over here. Oh, it's probably damaged the shit house with us banging it around. Right, so that's done. Now we can just focus on the knockdown part of it. Alright, start taking this corner out. See, this is this where. Like, how would you knock down the roof? Would you just take the walls down, let the roof fall down in real life, and then take the roof after that? So we're going to have to go in and cut the flooring out as well, I believe. Okay, there goes part of the roof. Oh, Jesus. Too hard. So, start trying to take, oh it's tile, it's a tile roof, not even a wooden roof, but hey, if this thing works, this thing works. Alright, let's get another view so we can see what we're doing. Obviously part of the roof is still there on the ground, like the internal chip rock I don't know if we go through and try and take the roof down first try and leave the walls the last like the out exterior walls even I don't know what the best thing is going to be to do Get a better camera view, that'll be good too. Oh, that's the bloody windows. I definitely want to try and take this floor out at the same time as we move forward because I had issues before with the floor being hard to take care of, so. Alright, yeah, get rid of the floor, get rid of the beams. I believe that's going to be the concrete floor in there, so we shouldn't have to take that floor out in there. Right, we've got stuff everywhere on the ground over here now. It's hard to bloody see, but it's not all... Some of it dis... like when you run over it, it disappears, but other bits doesn't disappear. Unless you go over it again. Right, let's um... Target this internal roof, there's something going on up there, funky. Alright, knock the whole wall down. That'll be fine. This is like, where do you come in with the, just the bucket and just destroy the whole bloody thing in one swoop? Or do you come through and try and finesse it? I'm trying to finesse it, but is it really... Am I finessing it that well? Probably not. 
let's turn you sideways and we can take this wall out like this. I don't... Yeah, the windows... I thought we might have been able to take them out by hand. But I don't think it really matters. I think we just smash them anyway. Like that, yeah, just smash it. Who cares? It's only glass. Cut it to bits. Should be right. You can hear the saw making noise, but it's not cutting anything. There we go. The jaws work pretty good too. Like I've, I was pretty happy with how the jaws work. Take this roof out. Thing is, the more we drive over things, the more erratic the bloody head gets. I would seriously think you'd try and take the roof off first. Whether you come in with grapplers and just pull the whole thing off in one big piece or what, I don't know. Still got that, um, like when you go in too hard it bends the, the head of the saw a little bit. Which is a little bit weird, but... There's that door. I think that was that door frame that we took off and managed to put somewhere that we shouldn't have. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be as said so as anal as what it was with that brick one that we destroyed because the last wooden one we did was pretty easy. Let's get a better view of the roof here. and just take all this roof off. I think that'll be the way to go. See it just falling down by itself anyway, the roof. Right, try and, I'd rather try and break it than have it fall down in big chunks as well. So I don't know, you guys let me know, would you rather see all this in a time lapse or do you want to see me do everything? Like, there's only so much I can talk about while I'm bloody doing it. I feel like I just ramble on with random shit sometimes, but... Look at this go. Just cut on through. This is going to be a pretty big job, this one. I don't think we need to tackle the fence, so let's not try and knock down the fence. We did in the previous wood one. I'm trying to take that on. There we go. There goes that internal wall. Let's take on this other internal wall here as well. So you can see how there's still so much stuff on the ground. Like I don't know if that's always doesn't doesn't count as it being destroyed just yet. We just run this thing through it. That's, that's what we need to do, just run this thing through it. It'll all get destroyed eventually. Just make it a bit more aggressive, try not to finesse it. Just go in full throttle and just destroy the hell out of it. Alright, take the flooring out. Obviously, we know we've done that before where we had the floor cause the bloody issue, so take it out early, I think would be the way to go. Focus on the roof again over this side. There 
And if it, if it happens to fall down, it falls down. Like, it doesn't matter. We'll just come back through and chop away at it. Take this. Take this out. This wall out will be the next best thing, I think. Alright, then we go back to take it on the roof internal ceiling I guess first and then the roof right, just a little bit of flooring out of the way now back to the roof yeah, I think leaving the um, we can try and leave the walls behind to get the majority of the roof taken away would be the way to go. Right, now focus on this next wall. Alright, let's try and push this wall over. Cut it down at least. Again, camera angle. It's hard to get one that just works the whole time without having to move it every couple of seconds. Alright, let's try and cut that bit. Come on. It's the guttering, I think. So I'm still enjoying Demolition Build 3. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, let me know where you are up to at the moment in your playthrough and what what your favourite thing is to do and what your least favourite thing is to do. Let me know. Um, I like doing I like doing everything. I don't really have a favourite as such. So I like every aspect of um, the game so far. See, demolishing is a lot of fun, but it can be finicky at the same time. But be good if this was like a, an extra a double job so you demolish and then you come back and build them a house afterwards would be pretty cool as a really big paying job jeez all right start smashing that stuff out right watch out for these bushes do they want to keep the bushes i don't think so it's only going to get in the way for the next house build anyway through let's smash the windows actually cut the bush away it does yeah sweet that's good bushes in the way anywhere we just get rid of them I think we can just run them over by the sounds of that just ran a couple over it didn't even have to use the cutter on them knocking this corner out so I don't know if all these bits on the ground really matter obviously I'm going to have to come through and try and cut some of this roofing bit just here because there's so much on the ground I'm surprised that the um, skids doing that struggles just to drive over it like it should just be able to squash anything it drives over really oh, let's just try and cut I don't know if it lets me cut that like the gutter doesn't seem to does it so I don't know how accurate we have to be with making sure these little bits of demolitions just have to have everything 
smashed on the ground into manageable pieces. Alright, let's just cut straight through the middle here if we can. Come on, there you go, cut through. I wonder how um, how well that loader would do with this in the bucket, just absolutely smashing everything. Just be able to drive straight over everything, really, and just completely smash it. Oh, let's check this view. So I can't demolish that. I don't know if that's something we're supposed to cut through or not. Literally got stuff flying everywhere around the job site. The neighbours are probably getting ready to ring their insurance company for all the damages we're causing with things flying around from one site to the next. Right, it goes to the roof. Smash it down. Let's take on these walls into the garage now. Alright, demolish the house. Task completed. Well, I don't think that's quite completed, is it? Alright, get rid of that, so I'm going to take a screenshot. Righto, mate. We know the task is done. Get it off the screen. Thank you. But I think I want to do a little bit more. Like, I don't think we should be leaving it at this. Like, I'm glad it's not as bad as it was with that brick house. Or the office, whatever it was, but... Being able to break it down into manageable pieces, I think. Just like just that. So even just knocking all the walls down. See, there's still walls standing. We shouldn't be able to complete the job until the walls are all down at least. Frame down, there we go, perfect. All right, let's take the rest of this roof out. Come on, cut through, thank you. So this whole wall still there, standing. That we should not be able to complete the job until that's at least gone. Plus all this on the ground. Look at all this. There's still huge chunks of stuff here that we should be getting rid of. I don't know what we're going to do with that door. Maybe the jaws. We need the jaws to do that. Right. Try and cut this down without damaging the fence. It's not part of the job, taking the fence out, so... There goes a bit of wood flying. Alright, turn that sideways. Once again, camera view. Get ourselves a better angle again. The ball's just hanging on. It's hanging on for dear life. There it goes. Alright, let's get this last little corner down and then and then we're good. I said even these big bits here are still manageable for somebody that wants to come through like a sledgehammer or something. So I don't feel like we need to have it have it all broken into little pieces but just all the walls down completely I think um, it's really what we need. Bang. See, pretty much like that, but like we don't need to go too over the top. 
Like it's all manageable. Little manageable pieces. We didn't even need the jackhammer or anything else. Which is good. We just run over it. Help smash it all down. So I think we need. I don't know if the skid steer needs to be a little bit. Did that? I thought it gave me something to lift that up. I don't know what we're going to do with this door. I wonder if that's, as I said, like a little jackhammer or something. Well, not even the jackhammer, but the claws. Be what we need. But all right. Exit vehicle. We are done and dusted. Alright, no penalties, no bonuses, 20,000, confirm. Hell yeah, another house demolition complete. Five stars, 19,7880, should get us above 50k. 51, 150, so we've definitely got enough money now to buy our next piece of equipment but we'll leave that for next episode hopefully you guys did enjoy this one if you guys did as always smash a like button leave a comment if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruto thanks for watching we'll see you again soon